Okay, this time I'm going to go ahead and we're going to design the right side part. So I'm going to set my stuff normal by clicking over here in my feature manager. Normal meaning I'm going to be planar on that face to that right plane. I'll come over here because I've already got my center line command and my headset display selected. I'll go vertical, infinite, and I'll click on this right here. I'm going to check off on that. Go ahead and go to horizontal and click off here on the bottom. Come up to about right here. Of course, another horizontal line. Do a right mouse click and go to Smart Dimension. As you can see right here, I'm doing Smart Dimension. I set that to 4 inches. And go ahead to 4, zoom out. I'll move this over to the right a bit. And I'll check that off. And still in the sketch, I'll go ahead and start designing off my datum out to about uh, just under 4 inches. And I'm going to come up here and design my tabs. Let's get those guys in. And I'll just extend up here. And I'll hit escape at this point. Then I'll go back to Smart Dimension. And I'll come down here to uh, this right here. And I'm going to can 0.25 of an inch. And that's going to set the thickness of my actual part there for my box. I'll check that off. I'll come up here to Add Relations. And I'll start with the first one I just mentioned. And I'll go up the line to each segment of the finger box that I'm designing. And I'll make all those equal. And as you can see, it just adjusted them to make them equal. And I'll go ahead and then check that off. And now at this time, I'll rebuild my part. And I have to save the file. Let's go ahead and save that file. And I'm going to go ahead and give it a name of table napkin box underscore rights underscore uh, PART underscore. I always do version control on my file names, making sure that I'm in the right directory, of course. So with that done now, I'll right mouse click and edit my sketch. From here, I'll go back to Smart Dimension, set that to 0.5 or half an inch, and I'll check that off. Come over here and make sure that's set to 0.5 on this. By hitting enter, it automatically checks it off and kind of jumps ahead for us. So I'll come up here to this one to 0.5. Put that in. Same thing here. 0.5. Put that in. Here. 0.5. course here and five as well so you can see from the sketch we're probably going to need to add one more finger to a uh, joint to it so that's fine I'll go ahead and check this off and I'll come up here to offset entities and I'll check on this one guy right here and it's going ahead and get the whole line segment nah, that's no big deal I'll cancel that and we'll just come up here and we'll draw us another line segment coming off like this and I'll come over here making sure that I snap to that one inch and then I'll come all the way over here to that center line and snap right there so I've got a little trim entity issue here I gotta take care of but that's not a problem go ahead and escape and we'll go to trim entities and we'll trim this guy out right there making sure I select power trim click on that and click on this go back to smart dimension and key this guy here into again 0.5 half an inch and that should accept it. That looks pretty good. Okay, now let's go ahead and check that dimension off. Control B to rebuild and Control S to save. We're going to go back and in, into the sketch, right mouse click, edit sketch. And then from this point, we'll do near entities, making sure that the copy uh, check mark is selected. We'll highlight that. We'll say mirror about the center line. Put that in. It gives me a preview in yellow of what that's going to look like. Uh, before, I, before I do that, let's hit escape. We forgot to add more dimension. So what dimension we need to add this time is to measure from here to there and make sure that we are half the distance of our overall dimension. Well, I don't know what that is, but I know my overall dimension is 6.3 uh, quarters, 6.75. I'll do that and I'll put a slash 2 in there because it's half of the actual design. And there it gives me 3.375. Uh, uh, we'll go ahead and check that off. We'll go back to mirror excuse me, back to mirror indies again. Again, we'll highlight by dragging around or shaking around all this, highlighting what we need. We'll say mirror about that center line. And again, it gives us a preview of what that's going to look like. I don't like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clear my selections and do that one more time. Highlight just what I want. 
That looks better. I'm going to check that off because I'm here about that center line. And there it is. So with that done, now I'll go ahead and do a Control D to rebuild my drawing. I need to build my sketch. I'm going to go back to the sketch and do an extruded boss on it. And I'll select that sketch here. And it should rotate in a three dimensional view. I can point to five. Check that off as well. And that's going to give me my part where I'm at now. So it's made of the wrong material, so we'll correct that. We'll go to Edit Material, we'll collapse steel, and we'll go to wood, and we'll select oak, we'll apply, and we'll close. Now, again, the grain came in at the wrong angle. To fix that, we're going to fly out here, moving it over, click on the double arrows, click on Appearance, select that. And then there's a mapping tab that will show up here in a second. There it is, mapping. We click on it, and we'll scroll down here to this, highlight it, and turn it to 90 degrees. And that should change, which it did, our angle. Now we'll collapse this. We'll come back over here to there. And we'll go ahead and select this face, make sure ourselves are normal to that face. We'll go to sketch. We'll go ahead and do a place sketch here on this face. And I'm not going to worry about a dimension just yet. I'm going to go ahead and key it. Actually, I am going to worry about a dimension. I'm going to key in 0 0.1875 because that's the diameter that I'm using for this part in this feature. I'll go ahead and I'll go to the edge of this, which will be 0 0.565 to an inch. Accept that. And then we'll make sure that we're going from the top edge down to here to 0 0.5 of an inch, 0.25 of an inch. Put that in. And there is our feature sketch drawn the way we need it. Check that off. We'll go ahead and go to feature, still in the sketch, and we'll do an extruded cut. Uh, we'll go ahead and look at ourselves in 3D and make sure that we're doing this. And we're going to make sure that we go through all. So that it'll always go through that sketch no matter what thickness I make of that wall. So now, again, Control D. And we'll do a control S to save. Now here's a critical part that we're going to do right now, a critical uh, step in this process. I'm going to go ahead and do a file, save as, because we know the left side is going to look very similar. I'm going to save that left side file just like that. Ft, we'll go ahead and save that. And now I still need to go ahead and put the slots in, but I'll have to do it on the other side. Well, in the process that we're working in, I'm going to go ahead and go back to the right side that we started on, which will look exactly like the left. Make sure that you are in the right up here by checking your actual sketch. It looks like I'm in the right, so now check off from that, click on that face, and we're in the right side sketch. We're going to go ahead and create right side of our part. I'm going to go ahead and create a new feature, uh, excuse me, new sketch. I'm going to do corner rectangle. And we'll come down here and click on this one uh, edge, making sure that we don't get the uh, zoom up here, make sure I get that one edge. You can see the little dotted orange lines there. Make sure we have that. Check that off. I'm going to go ahead and make sure the thickness of this cut that we're making, the slot, is an eighth of an inch, 0.125, because that's the thickness of the plywood we're going to use for our floor. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to select the bottom here, and we're going to make it come off that edge at 3 sixteenths of an inch. 0.1875. So we've got that in there. We'll go ahead and go back to isometric view. We'll scroll up here. We'll go stay in features and go to extruded cut. So in the extruded cut, it's only set to a tenth of an inch. We'll go up to an eighth of an inch, 0.125, and there's our cut. Look at that. We'll accept that. And it should go ahead and make that cut like we need. We'll check the other end, make sure that's clean, looks good. Okay, we'll go ahead and do a control S to save that and a control B. Now what I want to do is from here, I'm going to go ahead and check my design by starting the assembly. So I'll come up here to this and go to make assembly from part or assembly. So it's going to go ahead and create an assembly starting with and see that assembly with this right side part. I'll go ahead and check that off here. And we'll go ahead and accept that. And there's our part. Notice the F there, meaning that it's fixed and cannot move. Now I'm going to do an insert another component and get that front part we had created earlier. I'm going to put it right here. Check that off. And I'm going to go ahead and rotate up from the bottom. And I'm going to do my first mate, which means I'm going to join two objects together, two parts together. 
So I select the bottom face and it puts it up here. And I'll come up and I'll select this bottom face here. And, and those now are coplanar. So I'll accept that. And then what I need to do now is I need to take this face right here and mate it with the other face, which I rotate around, which would be this one right there. And it mates it, but it goes at the wrong side. So I'll flip that mate around, and that's what I'm looking for right there. I'll check that off, but it's still not joined all together. So now I'm going to take this face here, and I'm going to mate it to this outside face there. And there you can see how the parts come up and join correctly. We'll do a control 7. That looks pretty good. We'll go ahead and start saving this assembly. First of all, let's get out of this mate command here. I'm going to go ahead and get out of the mate command. I'm going to go ahead and save this file that we created this assembly. I'm going to call this TNB, table napkin box. I'm going to say assembly. Again, I'm a big version control guy, so I'll give my version control. Make sure I'm in the napkin box 2 file folder, which I am. I'll save that. Now I'll come up here to window and I'll go back to uh, the right part that I had created here. And we're going to stop at this point right now and proceed on to the left part. In fact, let's just go ahead and do that right now. Let's go ahead and get over to the left part and that's where we'll come back.